Good evening. I want to thank everyone for coming out and listening to us tonight. I want to thank the chamber for inviting me to get to speak. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my parents, uh, well, I'm Doris Etheridge, running for Register of Deeds, of course. My parents were Gavin and Elsie Browder. My husband was Jackie Etheridge. I have four grown children, six grandchildren, and three foster grandchildren. I chose to run as independent because right now I just think that that, that way I can serve all the people of, of the whole county. How can I put 40 years in four minutes? It's kind of hard to do, but I'll try. When I walked into Don Ellis's office as a 17-year-old high school girl, I had absolutely no idea I would be there for basically the rest of my life. I worked two years on youth programs and I went on county payroll in 1977. Regardless of my title as deputy registered, I always tried to treat people in that office with respect and like it was mine. I have worked for two of the best, Don Ellis and Judy Cranford. I like to say I grew up with Don and I matured with Judy. I have seen many, many changes over the last 40 years. And I've not only seen those changes, I've been a part of those changes. And Judy and I, we went on computer in June of 1999 and then we started back scanning all the property deeds in the county from the beginning of time. We worked hard doing this, but now all deeds are on the computer. And that is so much easier than pulling those big books that I pulled for years and years and copying them on the machine. There is lots and lots of documents that comes through our office and we record. And each document you have to examine and make sure that it's got the correct information on there and whether it does or doesn't or needs to go back, you have to have the knowledge to do that. And my decision to run for this office was not made lightly. I put lots of thought, lots of prayers, and lots of encouragement from people across the county went into this. And I'm not running against anyone. I am running for an office that is dear to my heart and I love. Other than God and my family, this office is my life. As your Register of Deeds, I assure you, I will run this office with the same respect that you have come to expect. My door will always be open, whether it be now or later. I just want you to ask yourself one question before you go cast your vote. Who of the three of us running is qualified and experienced to run the office? I would sincerely appreciate your vote on August 2nd, or if you vote early, July 13th through the 23rd. I want to be your next Register of Deeds. Thank you.